Division, partial quotients. Hmm, how can we divide large numbers using the partial quotients method? We already know that division is when you split a number into equal groups. The dividend is the bigger number you're dividing by, the divisor is the number of groups it's being split into, and the quotient is the number in each group. We have learned how to divide using repeated subtraction or by drawing images like the one below. When we divide large numbers, we don't want to have to do repeated subtraction or draw pictures. So there's a couple different methods we can use to divide bigger numbers. One of these methods is called partial quotients. Partial quotients means that we're finding pieces of the answer. After we add up all the pieces, we'll know our whole answer. Let's use partial quotients to divide 685 divided by 5. Right off the bat, I can use my divisibility rules to notice that 685 ends in a 5, so it will divide equally into 5 groups. Let's find out how many will be in each of those 5 groups. Some people like to nickname partial quotients the Big 7 method. As you can see, it kind of looks like a Big 7 when we set it up. We write our dividend inside the 7 and then our divisor just outside of our 7. Let's start finding our partial quotients. What's something easy we can multiply 5 by that's less than 685? Well, I know 5 times 100 equals 500. So let's take 100 groups of 5 out of 685. I wrote the number of groups I'm taking out on the side. These are groups of 5 or our partial quotients, pieces of our answer. 100 groups of 5 is 500. Now we subtract. When I take 100 groups of 5 out of 685, I'm left with 185. Let's think of another number that's easy to multiply 5 by that's less than 185. I know 5 times 20 equals 100, so I put the number of groups on the outside of the 7, and 20 times 5 equals 100 goes on the inside, and we subtract again. Now let's do 5 times 10, which equals 50. My 10 groups goes on the outside, and 10 times 5 equals 50 goes on the inside. 85 minus 50 equals 35. What can I multiply by 5 to get to 35? 5 times 7 equals 35. This time, when I subtract, I'm left with 0. This means that there's nothing left over. There's no remainder. Here's all of our partial quotients down the side. These were all the pieces that we took away. How many groups of 5 did we actually take away from 685? Well, add them all together. When we add our partial quotients together, we get 137. 137 is our answer. Sometimes you'll see people write their answer on top of the big seven, just like that. How can we check our answer to make sure it's correct? Let's use inverse operation to check our answer. We think we took 137 groups of five out of 685, so let's multiply 137 times five to see if that really is 685. After you multiply, you see that our answer is the same as our original dividend. That means we can be confident when we say 685 divided by 5 equals 137. In this lesson, you learned how to divide bigger numbers using partial quotients.